Hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you are doing extremely fine my name is prince and you are watching the tech stream in this video i am going to review yet another very popular android 13 custom rom which goes by the name of cr droid for the oneplus 8 series devices so without wasting any more time let's get started so i have installed cr droid android 13 on my oneplus 8t and this rom is available for all the 8 series devices if i go into the about info section you can see that the android version is 13 and the android security patch is of 5th october 2022 now let's see what all this from provides and what not also since this is an oxygen os 12 base build you need to be on oxygen os 12 c.33 or c.35 for installing this rom comment down if you want a detailed installation video for this one coming to the basic functionality all the basic functionality is working fine wifi bluetooth calling everything works without any problems and apart from that you only get fingerprint to unlock functionality with this rom there is no face unlock available currently and if i talk about the launcher you get the cr droid launcher which is better than the stock pixel launcher as it has some customization options available. Available. So from the first look, the ROM feels stable and snappy, just like it used to feel before. Moving on, as I've already shown you, it is an Android 13 base build, so you have all the latest and best features of Android 13, like more accent color to choose from in the wallpaper and color section. You get the new music player widget and output picker, so all the latest Android 13 features are there and working well. All your banking and payment apps will just work fine as the ROM passes the safety net test out of the box. And if I show you the wideband security level, that is also L1, so you can stream HD content on Netflix and. other streaming sites moving on you don't get an oxynos camera or gallery app with this one which is kind of a bummer you just get the basic aosp camera and you'll need to install a decent gcam talking about battery i didn't face any drains as such but i but i will use this rom for a week and so and i will update with all the details about the battery in the community tab or the comment section of this video talking about gaming you get full 90 fps bgmi support as you can see in bgmi settings you have the option to select 90 fps and you can also play on 90 fps the gaming performance look very good initially comment down if you want a full gaming review on this rom now let's talk about the customization options that are available if i move on to the settings there is an option called cr droid settings and here we have all the different apps under the status bar first up we have status bar icons clock and date settings network traffic indicators followed by some icon styles like 4g icons old style icons and colored icons then we have got some logo settings battery styles and some gesture settings under qs you get clock date battery brightness slider settings with tile layout and animations followed by footer and clear all button customizations under lock screen we have media art lock screen icon picker along with some gesture settings under navigation you get the navigation layout and action settings under buttons there are options for partial screenshot power menu options and volume rocker settings inside ui you get the option for ambient display monet settings font styles icon packs and signal icon styles inside notification you get alert slider settings heads up notification and blink flashlight for incoming calls inside sound there is option for pulse options volume steps volume panel settings and in call vibration options and finally under miscellaneous you have game space unlock higher fps in games unlimited google photo storage swipe to screenshot and pocket detection and last but not the least at the bottom we have get some oneplus extra settings like alert slider customization touch boost ambient display k cal per app refresh rate f sync fps overlay game mode and system vibrator strength wow those were a plethora of options it just took so much time to go through each one of those settings so should you install this rom yes you can but i would suggest you otherwise for now as it is not the most stable android 13 rom right now also you don't get the support of oxygen os camera and gallery app i would suggest waiting for a few more builds before the rom gets fully stable comment down if you want me to make an installation video for the same also i make a lot of rom reviews and i'll be trying another android 13 roms subscribe to the channel to not miss those videos thank you for watching